Have you ever felt? Are you listening? Damn. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so I recently downloaded the latest version of Photoshop as well as downloaded the latest templates from Merch by Amazon. So we have the template here open and we're going to have a look at the layers tab right here. If you don't have it or you don't see your layers tab, go to window, scroll down and you'll have layers right over there. So have this open. And as you can see, um, the template has several layers. The first layer is the instructions. So if we take away the eyeball, we won't be able to see the instructions, but let's have a look at them. So we have the instructions here of how Merch by Amazon wants us to, you know, upload our design. Down low is, is the section where we will be putting our design in. And here we have somewhat of guides, mock-ups, uh, to the several products Merch by Amazon is offering. So the first one is the standard t-shirt front. Here we have the standard t-shirt back. We have the premium. We have the, the sweaters. All the way in the bottom, we have the colors, so we can pick different colors. So let's just go back and we'll go back how it was originally. So now we're just going to follow the steps right here in this instructions area. So they want us to right click right here on design, go to the design layer, click right click, and then go to edit contents. Another way this works is just by double clicking on top of the design layer. So let's just double click and we'll have a window open separately. So this was our first window, and now we have the, um, our new opened window. So this is the, actually the, the template Merch by Amazon wants us to use to create our designs. Amazon also provides some guidelines as where they want us the design to be placed. So, you know, they're saying to keep it between this border and roughly in the center. If we go back to our Dares tab and we click the eyeball right here so we make this invincible we're gonna add a new layer so go down here it says create a new layer click on that and we have a new layer open and then I, I start designing on this new layer now we're gonna go and have a look at the tools bar so this is the toolbar right here as you can see currently I have the zoom tool selected so if I click, you see I'll zoom in. If I press option and I click, I'll zoom out. So the toolbar has several tools. We'll be only looking at two tools today, which is gonna be the move tool and the type tool. As you can see, if I go move, you'll have several options for the move tool here. And if I go to type tool right here, you'll have options for your type tool. So we're just going to write something right here. Just going to write the word love. And then go back to my move tool right over here and move it into place. As you can see, um, this template actually has some guides. So you can actually, it'll help you center it. Right there. So we're all centered. So now that we have this layer selected, um, let's make it a bit bigger. So we're going to go to edit, free transform. And right here, you can just scale it up or scale it down. Now, if you're not careful, you might squish it or distort the text. So what you would like to do is hold shift and then that doesn't distort it at all. So it just keeps the same proportions. Shift and options on the Mac will keep it centered and you'll be able to just make it bigger, uh, keeping the proportions in place. So now I'm just going to go back in and edit this word and going right in the middle, pressing enter, 
bring this all the way down here. I'm gonna go back to my move tool, try to center it right there. And then I'm gonna go back to edit, free transform to get this a bit bigger. So while I'm doing this, I'm pressing shift option and dragging it up. And I'm good with that size. Now I'm going to edit this a little bit. I'm going to bring these two a bit closer. So I'm going back to my um, type tool. This time I'm going to go all the way right here. So right here we have the option to um, increase or decrease the letting. So the spacing between these, these letters. So let's just go right here. You can either change it like this or you can input the desired number. So I want these to be a bit closer. All right, so I'm gonna go back to my move tool, bring it centered again. Now I'm going back to edit, free transform to make it a bit bigger. All right, so now I'm just gonna press okay, confirm that this is what I want. Let's close this. So let's say we're happy with this. Uh, this is what we want to go on the t-shirt. Let's make sure it is not touching the borders. Good, it is roughly where we want it. I tend to typically move it a bit higher depending on the design, but this, I like it how it is. And now we are ready to export it. Now before we export it and we wanna just have a look at how it's gonna look before it is exported, um, let's go back to the Merch by Amazon template and we can preview shirt type. So let's say I want to see how it looks with the premium shirt. So let's go down to premium front. We're going to deselect right here the eyeball on the standard t-shirt front. And this is the premium front t-shirt. So. To have this, all we really have to do is select. Here we'll just go in save. So let's just go in and press save. So now we can go back to the original template and we'll have somewhat of a mock-up of how the design looks on the t-shirt. If you would like to change the color to see what kind of, if, you, if it looks a lot better in a different color or just want to preview it in a different color, go all the way to the bottom. You see where this little arrow goes? Click on that and then you can pick your color. Now let's say I want the blue. As you can see, I can't see the blue because on top of the blue layer, we have the athletic heather. So we need to deselect this to make the blue visible. So let's say we're happy with our design, how it looks, and we're ready to export. So now that we have our design ready to be uploaded into Merch by Amazon, we're gonna need to export it into a PNG. So let's just go to File, Save As, look for PNG right over here. We're gonna put this on our desktop Name it love, make sure this is PNG right here, and then save. So this is a very simple way you can come up with designs, come up with ideas. You don't necessarily need to be a graphic designer. If you can come up with uh, cool phrases, cool sayings, uh, I believe you can be very successful with Merch by Amazon.